Today on Catch and Relief. Will Captain Joe be able to get his pants on? Will the crew complete this high five? And will Chef Jeff fall over? Please. Stay tuned and find out. That is crazy. We got some word. There was some slobs caught Oceanside the past couple days. So we went into the tackle shop in the basement, loaded up all of our striper gear. How they coffee, sugar matches, compass, bayonet, and trenching tool, ammunition, gas mask, reset bag with ammo, my webbing, my 45 canteen, two cartons of smokes. Hawkins mine, two grenades, smoke grenade, gamma grenade, TNT, this bullshit, and a pair of nasty skippies. And we're gonna go down tonight, take off some of the tuna gear, load up some of the striper gear, and we're headed out striper fishing first thing in the morning. Fishing relaxes me. It's like yoga, except I still get to kill something. So we'll see you at the dock. <laughs> Fun switching over to another species, isn't it? You didn't think we kept you around here all this time because you're so fun to be around, did you? All right, getting ready. You got all this? You need a hand? Yeah. Kristen, turn on the lights. You're a pushy little bastard, ain't you? Why don't you switch colors? Really? There you go. Nice. Nice. Getting the back pay ready. You got all that, but I'm just gonna stay out here and film. I should probably give the boy a hand. That's a great idea. I'm with that. What are we fishing for tomorrow? I didn't hear you. Stripers. What is it? Stripe bass. How excited are you right now? I'm so excited that I'm about to piss all over myself. <laughs> all right, bud, you want to help offload some of the tuna gear? Freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. You ready to do this? I was born ready. Yeah. Let's go. Nothing much. It's cold this morning. Sorry. I was in the pool! I was in the pool! We're ready. All right. Welcome to the engine room of the back pay. Little free trip checklist. Gotta always make sure the engines are clean. Strainers are not packed with seaweed. Check your oil. We're good to go. On time as usual. Captain. Chef Jeff. Oh, boys! I'm back! Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. That's what she said. All right, she's gonna live to swim another day. 
safe for the release. Fish on! Might be a keeper. Welcome to Shawshank. Fish on again. Fish on. Right there. What the hell am I looking at? Nice keeper, Christian. Nice keeper, bass buddy. So, oh, look. There they look. Chartreuse, lighter. Chartreuse. Two keepers. Nice job, bud. Nice job. All right. That's what I like. Teamwork. Welcome aboard. All right, buddy. How'd that feel? Pretty good. You're buying breakfast. Is breakfast ready? That's a nice one. Nice. Welcome to Saturday Fishing. Guys. Nice. nice. You want to measure them, Duffy? I know he's deeper, bud. 36. 36, nice. All right, we're done. Going home. We're not going home! High five. High five. High five. Triple high five. Yeah. That's how we do it on the back page. Nice. Nice. Dude, you're super over dramatic. Three man boat limit by 8.15 a.m. Trish is buying breakfast. Eight oh six. Nice job, guys. And there's another fish on. You want a belt for this one? Shut up. I'll give you a back harness. You get you get locked into this one. Are you tired of catching fish already? Kind of. You're a sissy. You want to, you want to take a nap in the cabin, or you want to go out to breakfast? What do you want to do? I don't know. It's not that hard. Breakfast does sound good. Though. What about second breakfast? A little after 8 o'clock, beautiful sunrise, cold, brisk morning on the North Atlantic. We're at the secret spot. Don't tell anybody. Highly secret. Shut up. Shut up. Are you done dicking around over here or what? Well, I mean, sure, this is kind of like a... Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A sea monster. Oh, that one's gonna swim to see another day. Out. Let's get a tape on this guy. What do you got, buddy? 38. He's just fat. 38. 37, 38, yeah. Nice keeper size fish. Beautiful. Oh. All right, bud. Oh. How heavy you think that guy is? I don't know, he's a big one. Big nice, nice keeper. We are done. Great day, bud, right? Oh yeah! Nice keeper fish, buddy. That's awesome. It was at that moment we almost lost Chef Jeff. <laughs> he's pulling all his friends in. miles for miles so it's not even nine o'clock we got our four-man limit boys got some flying to do cool down in some water I'm gonna make some tasty fillets chef chef style Good. yeah we used the bucket this time so Van Lu, if you're watching, uh, these are going to taste better than what you're used to. When was the last time you were at the flay table this early in the morning? Mom's going to yell if you mess up that new shirt of yours. Look at that. Yumbo, 
yummy, yum, yum. Not a bad job, buddy. You didn't leave anything out there. All right, let me see that carcass. How'd you do? Oh, you can you look, I can almost see the sunshine through there. You didn't leave anything. Oh, nope. poor seagulls. Nope. All right, let's feed the birds. Cannonball! Last fly? Yep. You've been feeding your buddies? Yeah, I have. No. Wait till Captain Chef Jeff gets his paws on these bad boys. Look at that, look at that pile of loin. Here. Beautiful. Oh boy, here we go. All right, buddy, what are you doing? Rinsing the fish off in salt water. What kind of salt water? Go from the ocean. Awesome. Why don't you want to rinse your fish off of tap water? Because it's not good because it's salt water fish. You only get it with fresh water. And what's in the fresh water? Chemicals. You know it. We don't rinse our fish in chlorine. Nice job, buddy. Hey, everybody. I'm with uh, you know who? The boy. We'll talk about that in another episode where that name came from. So we just got home from the marina. We're at the filet table for a little while. So uh, we're gonna show you how we transition from the filet table to the dinner table. And uh, we brought a couple of filets home after we took the loins off the fish and pulled out the bloodline to get rid of all that fishy taste. And uh, do we have any uh, filets, Christian? Are they? Should we, um, should we give some to the people who know? Sure. All right, fantastic. So uh, from filet table to dinner table, look out. We're gonna start some cooking with some secret ingredients and recommendations from Captain Chef Jeff, who you may wanna go check out on YouTube at Captain Chef Jeff. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, buddy, what you what do we got here today for dinner? Uh, we got some striped bass that we caught today. Well, we started off with some Redmond salt. Put that Let's on see it. What we got there? Redmond salt. Redmond, yeah. Uh, this is uh, fully recommended by uh, Captain Chef Jeff, right? Yep, that is true. And then I chopped up some Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold butter. butter. Why do we like that one? It's the best butter. Grass, grass fed, right? Yep. Then I put that on the striper. We're gonna bake it about 350. About 350. About 350. I need about 350. Six and a half hours later. Boy, look at that. Give a Chef Jeff a run for your money, aren't you? <laughs> Let's eat. And here we are. Ocean to table. Hook and cook. We have striped bass from Chef Kirshen. Organic dill gherkins. Organic beet salad. Some Dr. Pepper beans. We'll talk about them later. And baked beans. We like pickles and beans on our seafood. And a little chef chef. Yum yum. Hey everybody, it's Captain Dr. Joe with you again. And I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as we've enjoyed making this content because this one was a fun one. If so, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I hope they can fix that. Anyway, uh, to follow up, Mahi ask you a question. May I ask you a question? Oh, anyway. Um, comment below about your favorite seasoning that you use when cooking some fresh caught fish or store brought fish. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But anyway, 
Comment below and share with us some of your recipes because Captain Chef Jeff and the boy will be talking about future cooking of some of our catch. And we're going to feature a part of the episode called Hook and Cook from Ocean to Plate. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below about what you like to season your fish with or cook your fish with. And remember, tuna in next time for the upcoming episode. We'll see you then.